Justified Season 6, Episode 12, Collateral. Now this is like the penultimate episode of the entire series. It's the one before the last. The last episode actually comes on tonight. And I'm incredibly excited for it. I was surprised that we only saw one person end up dying in this episode. And that was Ava's uncle. I figured he, you know, it was like either he would totally get away or he would definitely end up dying. And it was kind of easy to tell once he decided if we're going to stay up here and, you know, fight against Boyd. It was kind of obvious he would end up dying. But the way he died was definitely surprising because it seemed simple enough like I knew he shot the door and it's always like that they shoot the door as soon as the handle is turned and it's like yeah I got him and then they walk outside and boom they get shot I thought Boyd was just gonna flat out you know kill him right there but you know he gets shot in the leg and stuff and then it's like he has his signature dynamite that's kind of his thing and he blows himself up trying to get Boyd but you know he gets killed off fortunately um, I hope Bob ends up surviving. It was kind of surprising to even see Bob um, in the episode before last. I thought that was kind of cool. Like, oh man, they got they actually brought Bob back for like the final two, uh, you know, in the uh, episode before the last episode. So that was definitely really cool. I love that one. Um, getting to see everything going on at the same time with all these characters kind of converging on kind of this mountaintop. We had like Bob going after Raylan who was obviously going after Ava because he knew Boyd was going to be going there and Boyd was going there. So we have all these characters, you know, coming to this one location. Ava ends up going down, so she runs into Bob, who runs into Boyd, who totally killed this one dude who is actually an actor. Um, I mentioned that the guy in the diner that Boom was messing with, that guy was in The Walking Dead before he was Garrett. I didn't mention that he was in The Walking Dead, I don't think, but he was in The Walking Dead as Garrett. And in this episode, the guy that Boyd killed was actually just in the show, um, Agent Carter, earlier this year before Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. came back on, and he was like the police captain in that, so it was kind of funny seeing him, and of course he ends up getting killed off at the end, but it was interesting, that little conversation they had leading up to, you know, the woods and stuff was pretty interesting, like he knew who Boyd was, and he was talking about the legends and things like that about how he's as close he's the closest thing they have to like Billy the Kid or something and really that's true it's like that's who Boy Crowder is and he's talking like you know the legends of outlaws aren't told you know those stories aren't told by you know the families of the murdered or things like that it's just other people that know it happened so it was it was something interesting to see. Like, he's talking to this character, and ultimately, he just, he was Boyd, so he just was like, I don't care what you're saying, and he just, you know, he's, I'm an outlaw, and he killed the guy. But it was still interesting to hear that conversation, and, like, before he, um, before they actually went up to the forest and everything like that, it, it was just really cool. Like, I thought, you know, this character is talking to him about how he is this, you know, big name. He's, like, this legendary outlaw in Harlan County, and he really is like people know who he is just like with Markham like if you're big people know who you are and what you've done and that story you know it gets told over and over again it's going to be told for generations to come possibly and it was just really cool it was just something it was like sort of an outside thing where it's just this you know random character kind of spoke on how Boyd Crowder might be remembered in the future and it was just really interesting because they never they don't really touch on that like too much as far as like thinking about beyond his years and things like that and how stories will be told long after he's gone it's just like how much people know him right now so i thought it was a cool little um like leap into the future almost where it's like this this is how you're gonna be remembered because you know as an adult like who's really older than you are i know how you're seen right now i know how things are gonna go and you know some of the stuff that you've done so I just thought that was really cool. I thought it was very interesting how they kind of threw that in there in the episode before the last and how, you know, he'll be remembered in the future depending on whether or not he lives in this final episode. But it was really fun. I love that. Uh, we got to see Loretta in this episode. Very smart move by Loretta. Um, talking to Markham and convincing him, you know, if you leave me alive, we can be partners together and the people that trust me will trust you. So no matter what you win like if things if weed isn't you know legal in the future like we hope then i can tell you which criminals you can trust and can't trust um if it is or you know even if it isn't i'm the one who knows how to grow the weed and stuff you got people like boone here who can protect the land 
but no one to actually make the land profitable. So I thought, you know, just smart, always smart from her. So that was definitely cool. It was amazing to see her actually convince him, you know, finally in the end that she is worth keeping alive. So I thought that was a really cool way to kind of have her storyline go. I assume Markham is going to end up dying anyway, so she'll be totally fine and she'll uh, be able to kind of do what she wanted to do and help the city itself and be the main landowner and do what she said she wanted to do with Pizza Portal. But for now, it's, you know, a partnership and she's going to be alive, which is totally fine by me. Uh, of course, we saw Boone actually drawing a guy in this episode. Um, you know, that was kind of messed up, like how they had him there. He he shot him, and so he's down, and I was like, okay, well, he's just going to be bleeding and stuff. And then when Markham comes, he's like, you're just going to let him bleed out? It's like, should have taken him to the hospital? And then he just pulls out a gun and just kills him, like, boom, all right, let's get to talking. So it, kinda, it was kind of messed up that he ended up dying that way, but it was definitely an intense scene. Like, every time they do it with Boone where it's like he's about to possibly draw on someone and I, I figured he was actually going to do it on this one but that was crazy like he pulled on him and you know it was empty the first time how he mentioned that and the second time when he was talking to him he's like you know with you not having to pull out of a holster that's near he was about to say like that's near to a fair fight or I guess he was probably going to say for draw or duel but you know, it was like, he was still too slow, and it was awesome to see him do that, though, like, it's like that he, you know, him being the bad guy, he technically killed a good guy, but, you know, it was still a cool little scene where it's like, he pulled on him so fast, it was just, like, crazy, like, I don't know if, um, you know, that was part of why that guy got hired, because he could actually do that, or if it was solely his acting, and then they just, you know, kind of trained him for drawing, but he's definitely great at it, like, he's incredibly fast at that junk, and it's, it's kind of cool to watch, I always think it's really cool when people can um just draw so fast like that and he can really do that junk and it you know it was just crazy to see and he you know shot him right in the arm and then he gets taken out by Markham when he comes in he's just been on the ground for hours just bleeding out and Markham just comes in it's like boom all right he's dead now and you know he just walks right over but that was really cool like I said Bob coming into this episode was actually pretty surprising I was um I wasn't expecting that I did like his scenes and him actually being the one who caught Ava and then kind of almost being killed off. Like, I was, I'm really hoping that we don't hear that he dies in the next episode. I don't think they'll do that because he's just such a nice character. He's, like, the nicest character, really. And, you know, he's really, like, the comedic relief, almost. And, like, Patton Oswalt, that's who the actor is. He's always, like, the comedic relief because he's always, like, just a funny guy on any show that he's on. He's just... He's always a nerd on all shows, which I always find really funny. Like, he's a nerd in real life, and every time he's a character, he's a nerd. And that's just how it is, so I always love his character when he's on there. And you know, he's just such a nice, nerdy character. It would really suck to see him die. He's, he's almost like, he's more innocent than Loretta when you think about it, which is so funny to say. But he kind of is, so hopefully he doesn't end up getting killed off. Markham did mention that he's going to find Wynn Duffy and try to kill him off. And they did have that scene uh, with Wynn in this episode where he wants to have, like, this new van and space and everything. And he mentioned he wants it by the next day. So depending on how things go with Ava and the little conversation that they're going to end up having um, in this barn where Loretta is, that could be finished. And Markham can still go out and find Wynn you know within the next episode and I don't know how it's gonna play out odds are he will end up finding him I do honestly think when might actually still die like he may have survived like that crazy scene in the RV but what if he still ends up dying like that would just be a crazy little ending um for the series where it's like I can't believe he got out of this and then he still ends up dying um in the final episode because he just didn't get away in time so I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I don't know. Like I said, it really does depend on what happens with Ava. And odds are that isn't going to take forever. Like, it's, I know it's the middle of the night, but that could be like an hour, even a two-hour, three-hour conversation. When's still going to be in the city for a long time? Like, you know, as far as hours go and stuff that they can do in that time. He's going to be in the city for a while before he's able to get out, so we might, odds are, we're, I know we're going to get something with his character. They aren't just going to end it there like, I need this by tomorrow, and then it's like, yeah, he escaped, and then we don't actually see anything happen with him. So something's going to happen. We're going to see him encounter something or someone. 
and it should be interesting. I do hope he survives, even though he's a bad guy. I do actually like the characters. I mean, these are just characters we've known for seasons now, and everyone's just dropping like flies. So some characters, like even, whether they're good or bad, I'd like to see some of the villains survive too, and hopefully he's one of them. I do like him uh, more than Markham and Boone because at least he's not like insane. He kind of just you know he tries to get money and. Obviously, he does insanely illegal stuff, but he at least tries to keep it sort of middle. He keeps it um, in a gray area, really, and, like, other characters, like Markham and Boone, they're just, like, criminals. Like, it's like, all right, well, he's bleeding. I got to kill him because he's a loose end. Boyd, obviously, like, he could have easily just stolen that guy's truck, but he he knew what he had to do. Like, they're looking for me, not you, and now you're a loose end, so I'm just going to blow your brains out. So he, you know, criminals, that's just how it is. But with Wynn, it, it it just always seems different. And he's also always one of my favorite characters when he's talking with people because he's so sarcastic. I always love that, too. But we'll have to see. Like, I'm definitely excited. It's going to be the final episode. It's sad to see the series go because I love it so much. But, you know, it's just it's been great. Like, every season has been amazing as far as I'm concerned. Great villains, great, you know, good guys as well. So definitely excited for the final episode. This is... A really fun episode to watch for sure. Like, what the heck's gonna happen? We had a great scene uh, with Boyd and, and Rayland when they were like in the forest, kind of shooting at each other, and that was a cool little conversation too. Especially the ending when Rayland was like, you know, Bob can take care of himself, and Boyd was like, well, you know, I already won then, and I I just thought that was a cool way to end that. But that whole scene was really cool. Like, even the beginning, I thought was hilarious when Boyd was running in the. Uh, bullet like hit really close to him and he was just like god damn Raylan like why'd you shoot me I could have been anybody and it was just a funny little start to that whole um like semi shootout scene but I, I thought it was definitely really cool I love the episode I don't know what's gonna happen like there's so much that can happen in this one episode I mean it, they still gotta find the money obviously Ava's been captured so she's being taken to Markham that's some of the money but it's not all of it so there's still a ton of money out there. I assume that they buried the money. That was the first thing that came to mind. Like they just buried the money just like they buried the guy. And you know, with Boyd being up there, he could easily just look around and be like, okay, well there's you know, like two pits obviously dug up. There's dirt dug up right here. So he'll probably find the rest of the money. If not, someone's gonna find the rest of the money. I don't think they're gonna do it where it's just lost forever that money's going somewhere like someone's gonna get it it'll most likely be Raylan and you know whatever the police do with a bunch of you know um money um so it's gonna be that and then I don't know what's gonna happen with Markham they had the scene of course so I think what everyone's been waiting for with Raylan and Boone about to draw on each other obviously Raylan's gonna win but that's gonna be so fun just to listen to whatever conversation they have before they actually draw on each other that's going to be a really intense moment. Like, that's what I love about um, Boone, honestly, is the way he speaks and the way he sort of intimidates people and says, you know, and when it's Raylan, he doesn't intimidate them, but it's just, like, a cool scene. Like, he always makes it seem like it's about to happen right now. Every time he talks to Raylan, he kind of makes it seem like we're about to draw on each other, but this time it's actually going to happen. They're on some random road. And they got out of their cars and stuff, and they're just standing by their cars about to draw. So, whatever happens there, I'm going to love it. But, you know, there's a lot of craziness going down. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff happening in this final episode. I'm excited for it, of course. I love this episode, but I do want to know what you guys thought about it. So, please, comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, of course, I kind of have to ask, what do you guys want to see in the series finale? I mean, it's... You know, we only have so many different avenues. Fortunately, I think that's a good thing. It's like we all kind of know what's going to happen because it's not like just they have to pack a billion things into this final episode. So, you know, I think it's going to be great. But how do you guys want to see certain things go? Maybe you guys want to see one character kill another character and you just want it to be a specific person that does it or something like that. Like I mentioned before, if Loretta was the one that killed Boone off, I would have loved that even if it wasn't like you know, she they did like, you know, a draw thing like with Raylan and Boone. Excuse me. I mentioned that Loretta killing him would have been like an amazing substitute, even though I'm I'm kind of glad that it didn't go that way because I do want to see them see him draw on them because I know Raylan's going to win, but it's just, 
and that's the craziest thing like that shows how good these characters are when it's like we know Raylan as the good guy is not gonna get killed off he's not even if he got shot which would also be amazing if he did at least get shot but not killed you know we still know he's gonna make it in the end like Boone isn't gonna make it out of that draw but even though I know that I still can't wait to see it like it's still gonna be an amazing scene and then you know like it shows how well this show is written but you know if it had been Loretta that would have been an amazing substitute and I wouldn't have minded because she's had a lot of crap to put up with because of Boone and then you know this episode is another great example of that where you know he's kicking in the door shoots her one bodyguard and you know freaking her out and stuff but I'm excited for it like I said I want to know what you guys uh, want to see in the series finale so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching